Hey, this is Chris Allingham with the Virtual Rubber Bullet. It's Labor Day weekend 2008. And I had a chance to visit the Best of the West Rib Cook-Off up in Sparks, Nevada this weekend. You know, I shot some video outdoors and I was going to tell you about the event. Hey, this is Chris Allingham with the Virtual Rubber Bullet. Today I'm at the Best of the West Rib Cook-Off in Sparks, Nevada. But uh, it was so windy that the audio really wasn't usable, so I had to come back home and shoot this part of the video. But in a second I'll show you some of the sights and sounds of that event. Best of the West Rib Cook-Off celebrated its 20th anniversary this year. It's not really a sanctioned KCBS or Memphis and May contest like you're used to. It's got sort of a people's choice component to it. Barbecue caterers from all over the country come to Sparks to sell a whole lot of ribs. They sell a lot of other kind of barbecue too, but it's really pretty much all about the ribs. And uh, you can buy ribs in a sampler. You get three or four ribs for six or seven dollars. It's a good idea to share it with friends. You can go from vendor to vendor and try all different kinds of ribs at this event. I think they had probably a dozen different vendors, maybe 14 at the most, that were there. Um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's an event that I didn't really pay attention to for a lot of years because I thought, well, this is not a sanctioned barbecue event, so why would you go to it? But it's like a street fair. It has an arts and crafts festival attached to it. And there's an opportunity to try a lot of different kind of ribs. And uh, that's where I think actually you can learn something from an event like this. Uh, if you're just a backyard barbecuer like myself and you're not into competition, uh, you can still go to an event like this and you can learn some things. For example, um, you know, where else can you go and try a dozen different kind of ribs in one place? You can try wet ribs, dry ribs, you can try sweet ribs, spicy ribs, all different kind of ribs. And then you can draw some conclusions about the kind of flavors you like, the flavor profiles you like. And you can also buy a lot of the rubs and the sauces that they're using at this event. So you can take them home if you find a favorite and you can uh, doctor it up, try to make it better, or you might want to try to deconstruct what they're doing to see if you can replicate it in your own backyard. So it is a fun kind of event to go to. I would encourage you to, to come to the Best of the West Rib Cook-Off in Sparks on Labor Day if you're ever in Northern California or Northern Nevada. It's a fun event. But if you've got one of these events in your own hometown or somewhere nearby within a couple hours driving distance, you might want to check it out. Uh, like I said, it's not a true barbecue competition, but uh, it is fun and it is something you can actually learn from, I think, as a backyard barbecuer. So check it out. And if you ever get up to uh, you know Reno or Sparks or on Labor Day for this event, there's so much other fun stuff to do up there. You've got you know, big name entertainment, you've got casino gambling, of course. And if you go over the hill to Lake Tahoe, You've got, you know, the sky's the limit. Boating, uh, water skiing, kayaking, parasailing, hanging out by the beach. Uh, if you want to be even more active, you can go hiking or biking, um, ATV riding, all sorts of things are, are possible at Lake Tahoe. So it's a beautiful place to come. Come out for several days, enjoy the rib, the rib cook-off, and then uh, hang around Lake Tahoe and Reno and uh, make a full vacation out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and close by showing you some of the sights and sounds of the 2008 Best of the West Rib Cook-Off. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, it's making me hungry just thinking about it all over again. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.
Thank you.